Hello, I'm Dr. Manor Haas. I'm a certified endodontist from Toronto, Canada. In this segment, I would like to review the delivery of gutta core into the canals. This important step is easier than you might think, especially when the canals and pulp chamber are prepared as discussed in my other segments. So by now you've easily used your size verifier and lined the canal walls with a bit of sealer, which means you're ready to obturate. If you're new to using gutta core, I strongly recommend that prior to warming the gutta core, you practice the placement of a gutta core into the oven and its removal from the oven. This video shows a trial run with the oven off. Please place the rubber stopper to your working length as per the markers on the gutta core. Place the gutta core into the oven's gutta core holder and press down. To remove the gutta core from the oven, press down on the holder and with one hand grab the gutta core handle and with cotton pliers in the other hand, grab the gutta core just above the rubber stopper, break off the handle, and now you're ready to carry this gutta core obturator into the canal. The ability to break off the gutta core handle and turn the obturator into a shorter and easily maneuverable gutta percha separates this from other warm obturation systems on the market. Just don't take too long to carry the warmed obturator into the canal. Doing so will cool the gutta percha and alter its characteristics and affect the obturation. As per setting the gutta core obturation length, please do not do so with a ruler. Only use the markers on the obturator. These markers coincide with the markers on the files. They're 18 millimeters, 19 millimeters, 20, 22, 24, and on the handle it's 27 and 29 millimeters. Do not use a ruler to measure the working length for the obturator. Use only the gutta core markers. Once ready to obturate, ensure the oven is set properly. Place the cold gutta core in the oven and wait until it blinks. This signals the gutta core is sufficiently warmed and ready for insertion into the canal. Remove the gutta core from the oven and grab it with a cotton plier at the working length as indicated by the markers on the gutta core. Break the gutta core handle above the length of the marker and place into the canal. As I recently mentioned, the delivery of the warm gutta core from the oven to the tooth should not take too long. To maintain the intended gutta percha characteristics, this should be done in less than about 10 seconds or so. It may sound like very little time, but it's actually more than enough. If you spend any longer, the gutta core will cool down too much and this will affect the insertion flow of the gutta core into the canal and the final obturation. The ability to break off the handle of the gutta core is one of the beauties of this system. Doing so turns the obturator into a short gutta percha. This is a huge advantage, especially in teeth that are difficult to access, such as posteriors. Having said that, if you wish to keep the handle in place, then you may do so, but I don't see the benefit of doing so. You'll have much more control using cotton pliers than your fingers. Also, while obturating, please do not turn the obturator as if you're placing a file into the canal it should simply be placed in an inward direction into the canal. Something you may want to consider is cutting the rubber stopper off the cold gutta core obturator prior to placing it in the oven, as you can see in this video. It's nice to have the rubber stopper as a marker, but I personally find that removing it makes the visibility even easier. The placement of the warm gutta core from orifice to apex should be done in about seven seconds. I cannot stress this enough, as this is one of the most important aspects of obturating with gutta core. It seems so simple, but I find that all too often dentists insert the gutta core too quickly. During this step, remember not to touch the pulp chamber walls. I recommend that you count as you insert the gutta core into the canal. You and even your assistant should count while inserting the canal. Engaging your assistant in a simple but most crucial step can only help. As Dr. Sergio Cutler recommends, Count during insertion as follows, one elephant, two elephants, three elephants, four elephants, five elephants, six elephants, seven elephants, and now you're done. The canal is obturated. That's it. Remember that this step is similar to what we do when drying canals with paper points, except here it should be done in about seven seconds. In fact, while drying the canals prior to obturation, practice doing so in seven seconds. If you insert the gutta core too slowly or too quickly, you will not obtain a good obturation. I'll tell you from experience that at times a gutta core obturator may break or buckle during insertion. 
You can see this in this video as I obturate the second of two converging mesial canals. This may occur due to the following main reasons. First, the gutta core was not sufficiently warmed or it cooled off too much prior to insertion into the canal. In turn, trying to insert a gutta core that is not soft enough will likely lead to breakage or buckling of the carrier. Second, inserting the gutta core too quickly or with too much pressure, and thirdly, this might happen when the gutta core reaches an apical obstruction, yet you keep pressing it into the canal. This often happens in cases with apically converging canals as seen in this radiograph. Once one mesial canal is obturated, the apical third of the second mesial canal is also obturated. But as seen in the video, as I continue to insert the warm gutta core, it reached the apical third of obturation and buckled under the pressure. This is actually an advantage of the system. Using other carrier-based obturations may allow the dentist to continue inserting by forcing the stiff plastic carrier to working length. But with the apical and converging part of the root canal already obturated, doing so could easily lead to apical extrusion of sealer and gutta percha. Not a welcomed outcome. With gutta core, this is extremely unlikely to happen since added pressure will simply result in the coronal and not apical flow of excess gutta percha. So remember, Gutta core obturation is the same as paper point drying of canals, except that here you have the luxury of doing so in more time and slower. And so to recap, obturation comes down to the following. Take the warm gutta core from the oven with cotton pliers, break off the handle, and insert into the canal without touching the pulp chamber walls. This simple process, including the gutta core time in the oven, should take maybe about 30 seconds or so in total. That's it. Fully obturating a canal is indeed that simple and quick. Finally, I should add that the use of enhanced magnification and illumination will only make the obturation easier and I strongly encourage it. I hope you found this useful. Good luck and thank you for your time.